confusing this as a happy ending. You haven't been paying attention. Welcome back to the Throne of the Dragon podcast, the show that covers each and every episode of HBO's House of the Dragon. I am Joshua of House Stark, and with me as always is my treacherous bannerman, Curtis of House Bolt. Curtis, how are you? You skin Hello. How are you? Hello, hello. How's it going? <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> how's it hanging? Mm, you're the Bolton that's just more of a weirdo than a like a threat. <laughs> I'm the, hey guys, uh, can I can I get your skin? Uh... <laughs> Simple-minded guy. Excuse me, sir. Um, I'd really like that skin. <laughs> I would really like to take that skin. From really you. like to have that skin, man. Do you mind? Do you mind? <laughs> just just a sliver, okay? <laughs> Curtis, we are uh just a few minutes here after the end of airing of episode three. Season two, mm-hmm. House of the Dragon. How are we feeling? The, the burning mill, Josh. The burning mill. I I am so mad about the burning mill. I, I don't I, even... I, I don't understand. I am so pissed. Help me understand because I was expecting something better. What do you, what do you need help understanding? Why that name? Because that mill... That's right there in the. You see it in the background of the shot after the battle has already happened, but you see it like you see oh, the Blackwoods yes. approaching through yes. the. Okay. Yeah. What they call those? The fans. The the mill, the <laughs> windmill. Oh no! The fan blades yes. on the windmill. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's why. Um, gotcha. I was really I was more hopes... focused on the sword the sword that was in yeah, that, that guy's was his uh... no- was, yeah it was, that was in his nose that was through his neck I have no I'm... clue why I decided to say nose I wondered if it was the Bracken kid's sword but it was through a Bracken so well you know what was weird to me is the knob made me think of the was it a knife or a sword that lord corliss had made or had commissioned for um uh luceris it kind of had that that look of that knob i don't think it was it made me think of that no it it was kind of similar but i felt like the one that corliss had made was a little bit more ornate like it was a little a little fancier yeah but I, I don't know. Just at first it. Glance, I thought it, it was me. the same sword that the Bracken kid had. Maybe it was. Maybe they took uh, it from him and used it. I mean, a lot himself. can happen. A lot can happen it's true. out there. It's war, buddy. It's war. Um, I got really hyped up in that scene. And as you hear the sounds of war happening, I was like, oh, God. Like, we're about to switch over to it. And then it was just the aftermath. Mm-hmm, like, dude, mm-hmm, is this mm-hmm. season one of Game of Thrones uh-huh. where we don't have any budget? Exactly. And <laughs> we're doing all of this after battle stuff and just showing some dead guys to convey that the battle happened. I just feel like there's a lot more money in this. And did we sink all of it into the dragons? Because. That's a little disappointing when a lot of this stuff happening on the ground is pretty insane during this. It's called inflation, Josh. It's a hard economy out there, okay? And what I know could have, <laughs> what could have bought you, you know, what you got in Game of Thrones can't really I don't know. Anyway. I know <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm I'm with you too. It's kinda like, come on, quit teasing me already. Right. Yo, is this, I know we're is, gonna get to see this some season gonna be a big tease or what? We'll get to see some ground battle stuff next episode. You promise um, me? And probably the one after that. I don't know, because they keep doing these next episode <laughs> trailers with like 
spliced in a bunch of parts from the next several episodes. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cheap. I feel like we got that uh, the conflict between the Brackens and the Blackwoods at the beginning of this episode. We got that in the two previous ones. They're like, quit, quit blue yeah, ball I me, was... HBO. <laughs> It was the same. Oh God, I was the same way when when that opening scene happened, and I realized what was going on. I was like, "All right, here we go. We're we're doing this. We're we're diving headfirst into this episode. It's we're just gonna be him. crazy. It's gonna be crazy, man. You know." But yeah, yeah. I'm with you too. It's like, oh, that was it. We'll see how that guy actually died. I don't want to see mm. like the aftermath. <laughs> it was a little underwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tell me about things. Not, 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 well, real quick before we yeah. move on from the Blackwoods and the Brackens, I don't want some long because I know I kind of got the answer anyway. But and so I just kind of want like a short little synopsis of what's the what's the story? What's the feud? What's it all about, Josh? I understand I mean, we we kind of got a deal of you know sin after sin after sin, and the answer to it is really kind of lost to time. You know, but what's kind of the thought of what really started it? I mean, I don't think it's one of the big mysteries of Ooh. George's writing is okay. we don't know what started the conflict between the Brackens and the Blackwoods. It apparently goes all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Like we're talking thousands of years. Right. Um and it's just the most famous um, yeah. rivalry feud, yeah, between these two houses. And, you know, I'm sure you'll remember from Fire and Blood, there's times over the histories that these houses have, I don't want to say completely allied, but... They've been on the same side during different things. Mm -hmm. There were um, marriages brokered between the houses by Visenya, I think. Um, maybe again by Alisane, I can't remember. But like, there's been times where things have been better than they are right here. Right. But I think it always just kind of depends on who's in charge. Um, but yeah, this is just, you know, this happens because the Blackwoods are claiming that the Brackens are encroaching on their land. Right. And that just kind of sets us off. And I said, while this part was happening, I was trying to explain to Liz, like kind of their deal and what's going on there. And then why in the aftermath there, like everybody was dead. Why do they all just kill each other over this? Um, and it's because they're taking the, it was exactly like was said in the green council meeting a little while later, the Brackens and the Blackwoods are using this as a means to prop up their own feud, you know, right? Like, now it's not just between us now oh well i'm supporting the true king and you're supporting the pretender so yeah it escalates a little bit further than it might have gotcha okay but yeah that's just one of the the big mysteries we don't really know and you know, there's a bunch of insults to each other that we do know about, but none of them are the cause, you know? Right. At a certain point, it just became tradition to just tell your kids, hey, those are Blackwoods over there. We don't like them. Yeah. Or vice versa, basically. Yeah. <laughs> what for, Pop Pop? I don't know. <laughs> just what your my, my dad told me, and his dad told him, and his dad told him, and his, yeah, so on and so forth. I think there's just a lot of things to stoke the fire. And then, I mean, their basic belief system is very different also because they're both Riverlands houses. Um, the Brackens worship the seven 
and that the Blackwoods still worship the old gods. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm sure that's at least a few times been a point of um, animity between them. Uh, there were a few things in this episode where I was just kind of like, uh, yes, <laughs> you know, hey, let me hear, like, let me hear. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, I didn't like the whole Rhaenyra going back to King's Landing to yeah. Yeah. Try to convince Alicent that we can call this off together. It's like, it's definitely moved beyond Alicent at this point, and right. it is arguably starting to get away from Rhaenyra. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. this, this is happening, guys. And mm-hmm. whoever jumps on this first is going to be the better for it. Yep. Um, and I think they realize that by the end of it, though. Right. You know, it's kind of like yeah. I mean, there is no turning back, and it's like okay, well, I got to move forward then, and I got to be the first one to do it. Yeah. But I think which is I, my thing was like during that whole like scene in my mind, I'm thinking, like, did you even really think this thing out? Like, how the hell are you going to get out of there alive? You know? Right. And all it would have. How the hell for... are the writers going to write this off? <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> I. um Yeah, all it would have taken is for Allison to say something you know yeah. and yeah she might die but Rhaenyra dies too right but i did hear and i gotta give credit to um history of westeros for this but i did hear them talking about how even if Rhaenyra dies you know all it's gonna do is hurt the green the cause yeah, yeah. Because it's going to rally her supporters. It Mm -hmm. is probably going to flip a lot of people from Aegon to the new heir. Right. A male heir for the Blacks. Mm -hmm. uh, Jace. So, you know. Yep. It. Her being a martyr would almost seal the deal for the Blacks. Right. Um, So, you know. Mm. I don't know that she should be too worried about preserving her own life, but getting out of there. Yeah. I just thought it was kind of a dumb move. And I always have not really been a big fan of the sneak into King's landing move. Like the, we'll just take a boat up, you know? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. At what point do people realize, you know what? I think people are sneaking in by the river here. Right. (laughs) This totally unguarded spot down here. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Anybody in apparently. Right. Um, Yeah. I didn't like it when they did it um, in season seven or eight of game of Thrones. um, When was that Davos and Tyrion? Oh, I don't know. It's been so yeah, long I ago. think so. Yeah, because Davos smuggles Tyrion in so that he can talk to Jamie. Okay. And try to convince Cersei. Same same shit. Try to yeah. convince Cersei like not to do what she's gonna do. Um and yeah, I didn't I didn't really care for that either. It's like they just roll in and it's like, dude, everybody should be looking for Tyrion at this point and a suspicious uh dwarf just shows up like yeah i was like mm, yeah, yeah. Um, just um like, who was uh help me help me out who was the guy that was with her i don't know i don't know he if looked that familiar was supposed oh, to be one of her guards was yeah wasn't that one of her king's guard yeah it could have been uh stefan darklin maybe i can't remember who the others are in her Queen's Guard. But that brings me around to this, Curtis. What the hell is Aegon thinking making his dumbass boys King's Guard? Yeah, by the way, that was that's who that was. That's it looks it, like him at least. It's Stefan Darklin. Yeah, it looks like him. Okay. Um 
Yeah, I I was in the same way. I was like, wait, are we seriously? And I think you can tell Cole does not. He does not appreciate that either because he looks at all of them just like, what the heck, man? You well, know, he, when he comes down the stairs, they're just they're like, all just like, you know, yeah. what's up, Kristen? <laughs> it's like, guys, let's act like maybe <laughs> a prince got killed. In the middle of the night, right? Here, exactly. And nobody yeah. noticed. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, which just goes to show you a poor choice of a move there, buddy. Yeah, you know they are really trying to I mean, show they, you how not seriously no. a good chunk of the greens are taking this. No, no. Well, and they show even like when they're talking about, hey, let's let's go hang out, do it, such as that, you know, which they obviously end up doing it anyway, but. Yeah, I, you took an oath, bro. <laughs> you know. Well, and Aegon's like, I'm gonna fly out. He's like, I'm gonna fly out on Sunfire. Yeah, and I'm gonna accompany you guys. Um, he puts on Aegon the Conqueror's armor, mm-hmm. which in a couple of shots when they show it, just makes him look so small. Yes, you right. Know? Like wearing Aegon's big old armor. Yeah, I was like, yeah, take that off. <laughs> His Henry Cavall sized armor. Oh, please give us Henry Cavall as take on the conquer. Um, but I, don't know, I forgot what my thought was there. <laughs> talking about the boys. Oh yeah, how he's getting ready to play at war there. And then all of a sudden has this thought that's just like, oh, uh, hmm. may- maybe I'm not going to go out and do that. <laughs> it's like, what What if we just went and partied instead, guys? <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they're just I feel like they're doing a good job, though, of showing. It's just hard for me to wrap my head around. His kid just died. And he's had all this rage and wanted to get revenge. But as quick as it's his person that's put on the line like that. And a couple little words from Laris saying that, oh, well, people might think that when you're leaving, your mom's trying to take the throne and her and Eamon are, which is so stupid, you know? Yeah, so I was going to ask. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Josh, um, the burning question from Aegon. Who who's spreading all these lies, Josh? Oh, who's I think spreading all these lies. <laughs> soon to be master of whisperers. <laughs> exactly. How dumb do you have to be, man? Yeah, he is yeah. really falling into this uh, yeah. little trap that Lars is laying for him very well. Uh, spider web? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe. Um, did you notice the new additions to the opening credits? I did not know what I didn't they what? added um Jaceris, um uh, on his little funeral cart thing. And then they also added the rat catchers all being hung. Nice. And those are both at the very end. So I wondered if they were going to add anything else going forward. I guess we can keep an well, eye that'd be out cool for that. cool if they did, yeah. Um, or maybe... Yeah, I mean, it couldn't have been in the first episode, at least, because... It would have given too much away. Right, yeah. Because everything else is stuff that happened in the past. Right. And I I sat there for a while trying to figure out what's going on sure. in the first couple of scenes of the opening credits. Because most of that I can figure out. You've got the Doom of Valyria followed by Aegon, Visenya, and Rhaenys. Then Magor. Then, which I wondered why they never showed Aenys. I thought that was interesting. Yeah. Then we skip right to Magor. Then, 
We go to Jaharis and Alisane, then Jaharis wait, 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 and the wait. Great who Council. Did, who did you say was on the funeral cart? Um, Jaharis or Jaharis? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I was He's thinking. Land. I thought you're talking. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Jaharis, the old king, and I was like, "Wait, what?" No. But no, okay. I I get what I get what you're saying now. And then after those, then it shows the two new ones. Right, or, well, yeah. after all the, it shows Aegon, then it shows, uh, or it shows Alicent and Rhaenyra, right? And then it shows Aegon, Aegon and Rhaenyra, and then the new stuff. Right. Uh, but in the first couple little panels there, one of them looks like a guy standing behind another guy who's on his knees. He has like a bloody dagger. Mm-hmm. And then in front of him, it kind of looks like a dragon. It's kind of like this messed up thing. My thought on that is that this is, since they're kind of going in sequential order, mm-hmm. that is the blood magic that was done with slave sacrifice. That's yeah. That's what I wondered the first okay. couple of times watching it was like, okay, is that like something of like what they would do in Valyria? Like you're talking about the bl- the blood magic. Yeah. That's what I assumed it was because <laughs> like, like you said, it's like, it's all kind of going in order of yeah. like the history. And so I started kind of putting some pieces together. So yeah, the only, I think you're right. The only one I couldn't figure out what it was is the woman who's holding, I think, like a younger guy in her arms. Yeah, towards the very beginning. Is yes. it after the doom or? Is before. before? Okay. And the only thing I could really come up with for that was um, that it might have been Danny's the Dreamer. Because the way it weaves from there, it weaves like from her head into the next scene which is the beginning of the doom and so that was the only little connection that i could make there where i was like is that supposed to be her because again we don't really get who that's supposed to be right i yeah i would almost are you looking at it now yeah i would almost say that you're probably right on that guess and it would make sense, right? I mean, if it's if it, if this is kind of trying to tell you the story up to where we're at with little pieces, then that would make sense. Of here's Valyria, here's you know the creation of the dragons, here's basically the the premonition of the doom. Here is the doom, you know, and so on and so forth. Here's the flight, you know, away from Valyria to Westeros, so on and so forth. Yeah, so it would make sense. Um, what you're saying there. By the way, I was right. Kristen Cole did get a haircut. He did get a haircut. He got a nice war haircut. Yeah, you didn't think he got a haircut. You gave me crap. We're going off to war. I need a haircut. I need a haircut. (laughs) Why? I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, that's what they would do to you You like in... Any, uh, yeah, that's true. And like, shave his head keep though. Your field of vision clear. Yeah, yeah, but he's got to he's got to stay think, fashionable. You think know? about it. If uh, he's got to ask <laughs> for uh, his lady's token from uh, <laughs> that she keeps under her. Uh, yes, um, I'll tell you that scene when she pulled it out of her boob. <laughs> All I could think of was the nightmare of my days of working retail. And this literally happened to me several times. Boob sweat money being handed to me. Uh, (laughs) All (laughs) righty. Okay. Great. Thank you. Oh my God. Why is it wet? (laughs) Use a pocket. Use a pocket. (laughs) Yeah. That's all I could think of was like, uh, (laughs) the nightmares. Yeah, think about it. If he didn't get that haircut and hair being in his eyes, he's like, what? Is that a dragon? What is that? I can't. What is that? Is that a dragon? I just remember brushing my long flowing locks back to say, look, the dragon. (laughs) 
Yeah. Nice wartime haircut. Mm -hmm. I liked his uh, back and forth with Gwen Hightower. Before leaving? Yeah. Yeah. And even while they're out there. Well, that's true. The road, yeah. He's like, yeah. Uh, we're camped back there, dude. He's like, yeah, uh, there's a really nice inn right over there. I'm just going <laughs> to yeah. Yeah. pop yeah, on but over we're there. We're camped back that way. So, right. <laughs> yes, but there's an inn that way. Yeah, yeah, Mr. I know. Cole is such a prick. That way. He always has to have like 100% control of every situation. And we, we got another appearance of crazy-eyed Cole. My God. <laughs> right. I've sinned. Uh, <laughs> Run away and eat oranges with me. Oh, God, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, twice now, Josh, twice the enemy could have been vanquished. And yet we decided to hold back on the dragon's fire. Shame, shame. We know roll no, credits <laughs> in the trees like that. It's not going to do anything. Set the like, forest on fire. Not, not greenery like that, man. You don't think so? No, no, no. No, you gotta and you gotta have like Grass dry ass dry. wood to start a fire yeah, and true. stuff. Yeah, true. Still yeah. though, that fire Super can go a long way, though, bro. Like yeah, I mean, I think probably she could have done some damage to them, but would have been a lot more than we were actually got in this episode. Yeah, we got nothing. Yeah, nothing. Not oh, is that a sword in the guy's throat? Uh, a lot of dragon a, screaming and yeah, uh, post battle shots. A crow picking out a guy's eye. Oh, ooh! We did it, guys. No, they're like we caught, like, <laughs> we caught Jamie Lannister, guys. We did it. Uh, what happened back there? Ah, don't worry about that. We caught him. No, we got him right here. Look, he's Check in out those James. two dead guys on the ground. You see him? You see him? <laughs> there was a battle here. Yeah. See, Josh, they probably would have had more battle shots in this episode if they didn't spend all their money on a fake naked mannequin for a woman to suck on. So <laughs> it's got to look real. <laughs> I, I still, I don't think that was <clears throat> real. <laughs> oh my God. Just so odd looking. <laughs> <laughs> Very strange. I want to get that scene out of my mind so badly. <laughs> That should be our uh, our clip or uh, our snippet for the episode, our thumbnail. It should just be that. <laughs> just <a> picture. <laughs> God, and they always uh, always do those when it's like sh surprise. It's not like something like slowly kind of like oh, it's in the background. <laughs> it's always like mm -hmm, right in your face. Boom! Yeah, he threw over Kaboom! the curtain. It's like how? <laughs> how? Right in the kisser. And then of course they had uh, they had to show you Eamon's D too. Why? Yeah, it was like Why? when he stood up, I was like, no, don't do it. Don't <laughs> he's just like at head level with everybody because he's standing on the bed. It's a power move, bro. It's yeah. a power move. <laughs> he's like, check that out. Vagar. Uh, Vagar. Uh, huh? <laughs> I call Where? him little little Vagar. Little Vagar. Little V. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh man. Let's get away from that. <laughs> what uh what else you got for me? Uh okay, so I uh for the longest time and man, I don't know, you help me. Ulf? Is he really Targaryen? That any Dragon seed is really a Targaryen is a matter True. of debate. True. I don't even know if you can mm. fully rely on being able to tame a dragon is solely a Targaryen thing because well, yeah. we're, we're going to have out. people who attempt to claim dragons who some can, some can't, and it's a mixed bag. So, oh, God. Please don't tell me that uh, 
What's her name? Miss Misandria Misandri? Lady Miz. Yeah, please don't tell me she's gonna try to claim sea smoke. No. Okay. I didn't like that shot. I'm just telling you, I didn't like that no, shot. We've, I feel like we've already gotten our foreshadowing, Curtis, for who's gonna okay. claim sea smoke. Okay. I just I and I was trying to remember, I was like, what was that sea smoke that he was seeing? But I couldn't yes. remember. Okay. Yeah, I was just a little worried when they showed it in this episode. I was like, oh, oh God, don't do it. <laughs> she was like, maybe he's lonely. I could uh, I could try. I, I could try. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> Actually, yeah, go ahead. Try. No, go ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> he just eats her. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, we were. Hey, Josh, we were this close. She was just about to get on the boat last episode. We were this close to getting rid of her. And we got to listen to her the rest of yeah, the season. Yeah, and uh, oh, what's his face? Hugh Hammer. They're going to be mm. our dragon seeds. Yeah, no, uh, no Hugh Hammer in this episode. Yeah, I was kind of surprised. I part of me kind of thought that he might be at the brothel. Yeah, like while Ulf was, well, so he was in I, the like, background see him somewhere still see or something. Him. But yeah, might might be worth a rewatch that scene. See if he's like hanging in the background at least. Yeah, or whatever. Because if you think about it, it's like the last episode we get, we just get a glimpse of Ulf. But we get a little more time of, um, what's his name? Which I just said his name. Hugh. Hugh. There you go. Hugh. Hugh Hammer. Hugh Hammer. Yeah. So I guess maybe this episode was like a flip flop, if he's in it at all. Yeah. <clears throat> um. What were you expecting to happen at Hair and All? Well, so I didn't understand, like, I mean, we talked about it in the last episode with uh, with the preview. It's like, I don't understand, like, what's going on. Like, you're just, like, walking through, like, this empty place. But then when you rode up, you obviously heard people screaming dragon. So, you know, people are there. But then it's like you're walking around and it's it just acting like it's all deserted, you know? Yeah. And, uh but then, yeah, you, you come across uh, Simon Strong, which I was going to ask you, but then they finally told the lineage basically there. Yeah, um, that he's um, uh, Lyman, Lord Lyman's yeah. uh, uncle. Uncle, yeah. He kind of looked like him a little bit in the face. I was like, okay, really? that's, that's not bad. I felt like... Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it basically kind of worked out for Damon in the end. I mean, obviously Simon showed his uh, or gave his opinion on uh, Laris for sure. We know where he stands on that for sure. Um, but it's kind of funny though. It's like if you if you knew that Laris did it, why aren't you why aren't you trying to like take some type of revenge? You know. Right, but I mean, what are they going to do? Here, here's the thing. So you Heron wouldn't Hall, hurt a clubfoot man. Heron Hall, except in wartime, is always like super lightly garrisoned. Yeah, it takes a stupid amount of fuel to heat the place. Okay. Um, if you were to fill it up, like yeah, you'd be looking at an insane amount of food to feed it. It's a ruin. You know, I, we saw Which, it. We see that, it in Game of Thrones. You see it mostly from the outside, but you see it interior a little bit while Tywin's army is there. Right. That's going to be a problem when you gather your army there like Damon's wanting to do. It's like, how the hell are we going to feed all these people? You know? Right. Well, a lot of... A lot of that kind of support and supply lines will come from. Is there houses and such? Yeah, maybe? places that are allied to you. So Heron Hall's in the Riverlands. It's not the controlling seat of the Riverlands. It used to be, but right. it's not. River Run is now, and the Tullys are um, the liege lords. I did like the shot where um, he's basically looking over the Great Hall where the council was at. That was pretty cool. 
I was yeah. like, nice. Usually like nice. kind of down in there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um PTSD Damon. Yes, but I think this is a mixture of a couple of things. Okay. Um, we saw that woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe that is Alice Rivers. Yeah. Um, and she has a part to come. I'm pretty sure that's her. Is she a witch? Unless I'm mixing somebody up. Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay. That's, um, that's the vibes I was getting. My other thing about this that I feel like is more powerful and interesting is this curse on Heron Hall. On Heron the, Hall. the ghosts yeah. of Heron Hall, you true. know. True. That's true. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of a more interesting, I think, way to look at it. Okay. Um, it's something that we've not really ever seen before. You know, any of the times we've been at Heron Hall, it's never been like Tywin's in bed and he wakes up and it's, you know, Joanna before she died talking to him or something, you know. So this is our first experience with it. And that's why I think it's kind of neat to look at it more that way, uh, because we don't really have anything other than just kind of in world rumor and superstition. Okay. So. I like that way better. <laughs> that was my thinking. No, I like that. Like you said, I like that a lot better than PTSD, Damon. That's all I could think of. Yeah. When he, uh, I was like, oh, God, he's post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, I've killed too many people. Uh, Curtis, your hand of the king. Okay, your hand of the king. Are you going with what the, the my hand pen? of the king pen? Or are you going with... Kristen Cole's super obnoxious hand of the king, uh, giant gold necklace. I didn't even notice that. Okay, hold on, hold on now. Let me check out this. You necklace didn't here, see buddy. Kristen Cole's I necklace. I didn't <laughs> notice that. Oh my god, that thing's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what that actress said. <laughs> Kristen Cole, it's so bad. So yeah. <laughs> oh dang it! Come on, hold on. I'm trying to get there. All right, coming up. He's walking. He's walking. Now he's sitting down in the chair. Oh nope, cut away. <laughs> just before you could see it, they cut away. Okay. What the heck? I just assumed that was a part of it. Now, is he wearing it at the council? I think so. Huh, I guess I just assumed that was part of his armor. No. That's weird. Yeah, that's his uh, Hand of the King hand in hand chain link uh, giant gold necklace. Only off screen. Huh, okay. Are those like a bunch of hands? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, uh, I'll take the I'll take the pin all day long because okay. that looks okay. stupid as all get out. If you had to come up with your own, what would you do? I would get it tattooed on my butt cheek. And no, um, I'm like people got to be able to see it. <laughs> gives me an excuse to strip down, buddy. <laughs> and what was this? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. Uh I mean, the pen's fine. Like, what do you? <laughs> People know you who you are, right? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, do you really need something to be like, "Hey, I'm the hand"? Right. I think the pen does the job. I was yeah. thinking. I was like, uh, maybe some kind of like. I want a crown. Oh, oh like a like hands. a sword pommel would be pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like that'd be maybe cool. like at the bottom of your pommel, some kind of yeah. It's like maybe it's like a fist, like gripping the bottom of it or something mm. with the pin through it. Although 
I don't know. You'd have to come up with a way so the pin wasn't like sticking out because a metal pin like ah. that sticking out, you'd probably just stab yourself in the wrist at some point. <laughs> what about uh, what if he changed his white cloak to a cloak with a big the big symbol on it? Is that too much? <sighs> For him, no. I feel like that's pretty ostentatious, <laughs> and I feel like he would love that shit, but. Oh, I just love it. It's just a shirt that says I'm I'm the hand. <laughs> I'm it's the hand. hand of the king. <laughs> it says bow down. What up, hand? Um, Yo, hand. Well, you know what they say, Curtis. Oh, geez. The king, the king shits and the hand wipes. <laughs> Where are you going, Aegon? To the bathroom? I'll come along. Jamie Lannister. Um, my favorite Jamie Lannister scene is when he's trying on the ham for the first time, and he's in the background. They look at him. He's like, <laughs> right, "Yeah, he's like, <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had something to relate to that. Oh yeah. Um, do you remember in Game of Thrones? It would you know it's only in like probably one episode but they show robert's sword at one point no. and it has a massive fist like on the pommel like that's the bottom part mm -hmm. and that kind of made me think of it. i was like that would be okay that'd be a cool um yeah end of the king yeah are you are you it should be like a fist though or should it be just kind of like wrapped kind of slightly to me, I feel like if it's just like a fist, maybe, it's not really like it's like maybe you like, look at the pin, it's kind of you know, kind of yeah, kinda maybe wrapped. like wrapped and then the pen kind of goes through it up the handle, right? Like that way, it's not sticking out, right? Yeah, but still, you could be like, hey, I'm the hand, <laughs> that's it, that one's mine. If I'm ever hand of the king, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, whose crown are you wearing? If you're the king, whose crown are you wearing? The Conqueror's or <sighs> Jaehaerys's? I think Jaehaerys's. Yeah, uh, the, I Conqueror's mean, the Conqueror's just seems crown too is geometric. pretty sick, but... <laughs> yeah, it just feels too geometric, though. Yeah. It was just like the, re the rectangles, basically. <laughs> With the chains. Yeah. yeah. I do like that it's made from Valyrian steel. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we melt it down and we make me a new one. Oh my god! I tell you what, Chris, we're gonna melt them both down into the same crown. Into one glorious crown. Yeah. Nice. Do they ever make a new crown for anybody? Yeah. In the Targaryen line. Yeah, I think they make many. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know, Josh. If I remember right. I didn't know. Someone won't let me go past the point that we're at now in the family line. You could do whatever you want. <laughs> I already know too much, Josh. Um, I really like the conversation between Rhaenyra and Rhaenys about um, where they're talking about what will people say started the war, you know? Right. Was the lines it, have been blurred, Josh. Right. Is it the killing um, of a child? Is it um, Aemon killing Lucerus? Is it Lucerus taking Aemon's eye? Mm -hmm. um, this goes back a ways now. Like this hmm. amity has been brewing. Sounds like some other feud we were just talking about a little bit ago there. The Brackens and the Blackwoods? Yeah, basically. I mean, it's well, like it's getting one, to the point where it's like, we don't know what started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they at least know yeah, but you one start, of those events, Yeah, but you, you start know? somewhere, though, Josh, you know? Yeah. So. Um... What do you think of uh, of Cole's plan? 
about the moves they're about to start making. The Blacks have made their move in the Riverlands. Um, Cole is going to make for Heron Hall, but he's also planning to make some stops at some houses in the Crownlands who are loyal to Rhaenyra. Well, you got to do it, right? Right. You got you to turn them. Got to show them what's up. I just wonder how many men could show they crazy have. crazy eyes, Josh. <sighs> show them those Kristen Cole crazy eyes. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? How many men? I feel so guilty about sleeping with the queen. <laughs> but I'll do it again. <laughs> I've done it before and I'll do it again. Um. Yeah, I don't know. He makes it seem like they're going to be setting out with a fairly like small number of guys, and his plan is to somehow infiltrate these castles. You know, infiltrate I, or influence. I think infiltrate. Okay. I mean, you see, him, you. <laughs> you see him in the trailer executing somebody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of the lords, you know? Right. Because um, I think they're going Staunton. <sighs> I can't remember. I have to look, but yeah, I can't remember which houses they're going to be paying a visit to. We'll find out. There. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, and I have this feeling that that um, bit we keep seeing in the trailers of Vagar flying over the trees is from one of these. One of these stops? Yeah, because it doesn't look like well, and there's fire at one of these battles that we keep seeing in the trailers. And just the way it's set up, it looks like it's one of those battles. It's not going to be something later on. Oh, no, it'll be next season before you get that shot. So <sighs> we shot that one now. It's a teaser for later. Um, But yeah, just the way it's set up, I think it's got to be... At one, I think it'll probably be next episode, but we'll see. Yeah. Now nah, it'll be interesting. We're getting closer. We're getting closer to Heron Hall, Josh. A meeting point. Um, I know the Greens have few allies right now. They can't afford to be doing anything too crazy, but. How is Jasper Wilde just getting away with running his mouth constantly at these council meetings? <laughs> I love it. Like I I'm, I'm feeling it, but how is he getting away with this shit? I, don't ask me, man. Ask Aegon. Like Kristen ask Cole. Kristen Cole. Kristen Cole beat Lord Beesbury to death in that very same chamber. Sit down. Just for saying relatively the same stuff. Mm -hmm. And Jasper Wilde just gets total pass. Yeah, but the other guy was old. This guy would probably need more. You know, he'd probably have so. a better chance of beating the shit out of Kristen Cole. He's a True. pretty big dude. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and the Wilds are a pretty strong house. I, I can see you know, Ormond Baratheon sitting there with you. You don't want to piss him off. You kind of just let him say what he wants to because right. you need them on your side, you know? So I, I get it with the wilds. Um, we just keep getting these Daron teases. And he's got a dragon. And it just reminds me of 
uh, South Park when they do the Game of Thrones stuff where they go to talk to George R.R. R. Martin and um, they're like, but we've been watching the show for a while now, but when are the dragons coming? Like, oh, don't worry. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> um, yeah, nice. it just makes me think of Daron. They're like, oh, don't, don't worry, guys. Daron's coming. He's coming. So, but yeah, I thought it was funny that they mentioned him again in this episode. And I don't think that the stuff he has to do with will bring him in until next season. Um, It really depends on what happens. These next couple episodes kind of get a gauge for how far we're going to go. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know that we'll see him in this season. Uh, what? We might, I don't know. We might. I'd like to think that we're not done with Otto this season, but if we don't flash over to Old Town, then you think we'll get the uh, the Battle of Honeywine in this uh, in this season? The Battle of Honeywine. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember which one that is. Me either. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but it says he comes riding in on his dragon, so. Spoiler alert. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like when he shows up. Like that's when he right. makes his appearance. So I'd almost wonder if that would be like kind of what they do yeah. for him. I don't, yeah, and I don't know that that will be this season, but we'll we'll have to see. Um, I also wonder how much we're going to see the kids over the next couple seasons. Um, of uh, both? No. Both um, sides are? Mainly the blacks. Um, Joffrey, Aegon, and Viserys. Because they'll be with uh, Reyna. I was say even Reyna. Yeah, How much they'll see be her? in the veil. Um, we will see her more later. We're going to see the boys a little bit later. But yeah, without giving too much away, you know, it's like she was saying... Uh, Rainier was saying that she thinks the best place for them would be Pentos right now. Right. And so that's where at least some of them are going to end up for a little while. Right. Just kind of is safekeeping. Right. So worse comes to worse. They can grow up there. Reyna's supposed to kind of take care of them and teach them the way. And then, like you said, worst comes to worst, they can use them as backup, basically. Yeah. Yeah, so. worst case scenario, you know, these four return mm-hmm. with full-grown dragons here mm-hmm. in another 10 years or so. Yep. Um... You know what always bothered me about Game of Thrones, Curtis? <laughs> I don't know what. How big the dragons get so fast. Like, we cover years in Game of Thrones, and it's harder to tell sometimes because certain actors don't age as much as others do. Um, so we're definitely covering some years. But not like 20 years to go from hatchlings to Drogon supposedly being like almost Balerian size where she's like a dot on his back. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's one thing that's always really drove me crazy about that. I'm like, that is a little too convenient that they're all just like, monstrous in the show you know right like they don't grow that fast (laughs) 
Well, maybe it's a deal where it's like you can kind of manipulate it by, like we talked about before, it's like if they're just kind of like chilling in cages, then it's going to stunt their growth. Whereas if like they're free and they're kind of open, they grow really big. Maybe there's a way you can kind of like but not fast really forward fast. it kind of. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Grow. Well, if there is, Curtis, it's lost to her because she has no knowledge of any of this. She had no idea how to even ride a dragon, but she, out of necessity, had to. Yeah. But that's a little off the off the beaten path. Off the beaten path. This has been Off the Beaten Path with Josh. No, no, no. What do you think about the eggs, Curtis? Are three of those uh, Daenerys's eggs, or are her eggs the eggs that were stolen by Alyssa Farmer? No, her eggs are the ones that were stolen. You have convinced those me. Those make the most sense to me. If these eggs, I don't, and I don't remember, if these eggs make it with them to Pentos, then I could see an argument for that. But I have just had this feeling that George intended for the ones that Alyssa Farman yeah, took so. to be the ones that eventually come back to Danny because they're from a clutch of eggs from Dreamfire. Mm -hmm. Wait. No, do not. They might not be from Dreamfire because they're from Dragonstone. And Dreamfire is not there. So maybe not. I don't know. It's up in the air for me. I'm not really sure which one I feel like. They I still definitely feel like did their best to make three of these eggs look like three of Danny's eggs. Right. Um, at least in the show. I think the coloring is a little bit different in the book, at least on one or two of them. Well, is so you get four. Do you get four eggs there or three? Four. So you're giving one of them to the veil, right? In in exchange, right? Well, I don't think. Are she's you giving, giving them an actual real dragon, though? I don't think she's giving any of them away. Joffrey's but I'm dragon, talking. I'm talking about more of just like in the in the transaction. The dra a, dra a dragon is part of it. Not really saying which dragon is part yes. of the deal. Yeah, she cannot Didn't say it was a full grown one or whatever. She can't send a fighting dragon. She can't spare right. a fighting dragon. So what she's sending is um, Joffrey to be fostered there, who is a dragon right. rider. He just has right. a very small dragon. Right. And then uh, Stormcloud and Tyraxes. Yeah, Tyraxes. Um, which are also very small. They're both hatchlings. So she's sending all this in the hopes that that will meet Lady Jane's requirement. So. Yeah. I don't know. It's just one of the great mysteries. Right. It was something that we'll George probably R. never Martin. know, you know. And that's for the best. There's some things like that, like the Bracken Blackwood conflict that keeps you invested in it by not just giving what you I've a always said answer you mm -hmm. know so instead you're forced to form your own opinion which means you have to do the reading and the watching and the consuming which is what they want my god just broke the code <laughs> yeah um, I think that was most of what I had. Um, we didn't really talk about that scene between Allison and Helena. Uh, just Helena forgiving Allison for, I guess, Something. distracting Kristen Cole. But also, it's like Eric said, 
Helena has never had a sworn protector named to her. Mm -hmm. And so she's just been vulnerable. It's not like if Cole wasn't with Allison, he would have been there or somebody else would have been there. It's like now he probably just would have been. I mean, he and Eamon were together right before that. Yeah. Do you think uh, do you think that's really what she's forgiving her for? I think so. What well, I mean, what do you think? I'm I don't know. I'm just I'm just wondering. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's anything down the line. I forgive you for banging Kristen Cole. No, I took it as like uh yeah, <laughs> I, I knew to be my what was daddy. going on like yeah. you know, cuz there's been like a weirdness between them since True. She saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so. No thickness. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a little bit of this back to the succession question at Driftmark. Like, who's going to inherit Joffrey? He's like, he's not even really our blood. Should we? Yeah, I mean, Rainey's has been making the push for Rayla to be their heir for a long time. Right. Especially now that Luke is gone, there's, you know, I mean, her sister would be the uh, queen consort whenever Jace took over. What's wow, that face? That's, that's real. <laughs> The D. <laughs> the anyway. D that be a sucked upon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's kind of like, why are we going through this again, man? And then was he was he trying what? to suggest to why her are you that watching uh, the DC it again? <laughs> I don't know. For some reason it popped in my head. It was like, I gotta figure out if this is real or not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um uh oh my god. Was he was he trying to suggest at one point that it's like maybe we should make our own air again? When he kind of put his hand on her hips. Oh, um not that <laughs> yeah, maybe not, not there. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> they're like pretty they're pretty old by that point. Not old, old, but they're past that time. Yeah, I know, but still. Yeah, I, I kind mean, of a felt man that can way say whatever he wants. It's but, different for uh, a woman. Yeah. But yeah. But your eyes kind of like, oh, are we going through this again? It's war, Curtis. They could all be dead tomorrow. Mm. And that's kind of her prerogative. It's like, we have to figure this out now. We can't right. be, you know, it was Otto in season one of the House of the Dragon. It's like, how, how can you think about anything else? We got to set up the line of succession. You could drop dead tomorrow, dude. Like, right. Yeah, Otto's been around to see most of Viserys' family die. Like all before him, you know. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, um, I think that's it, buddy. I think that's about all I have. Um, what do you think? What do you think we're getting next week, ma'am? I feel like they can't draw this out anymore. More tees. They, they can't. They, yeah, they can't draw it out anymore. More marching. Man. This is more it, dialogue. We finalized it. This is it. We have to have war. There can be no other option. More the uncomfortable pieces have already scenes. began moving. Yeah. So we're gonna find out what's in that inn. What's going on in that inn over there? We're gonna find out. <laughs> How do you think that guy got that hook? Go find out. Let's find out. 
Yeah. <laughs> when you said, when you said, uh, what'd you say? Or the lady, the lady sucketh or whatever. All I could think of was Tom Sizemore on, um, always oh, sunny in Philadelphia. He said it's about, uh, no, no, sir. Uh, I will not suck or be sucked upon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right coaches are we ready to get out of here i'm ready to get out of here and go take a shower man <laughs> it scrubbed my mind scrub your mind clean of the thickness you're gonna be like allison you just can't get clean <laughs> <laughs> yeah everywhere i look there's Semi hard, semi hard dogs. Semi hard, dongy life. <laughs> it's the semi charm, semi charm life parody. Anyway, get me out of here. <laughs> Please get us the hell out of here. All right, we'll be back next week for episode four. Make who knows sure i you... mean we might it's war josh we may not make it to <laughs> we yeah we we might both uh drop dead we're on the side of the blacks house stark and uh house bolton so who knows what's going to be going on for us next week we'll see get some nice get some nice flesh there buddy <laughs> thank you try to remember we're on the same side <laughs> like to like to wear that as a as a coat <laughs> yeah save that for our enemies curtis <laughs> Ah, but they're not here. You're here. So <laughs> uh make sure that until the next episode, you guys go back and catch up on our fire and blood coverage episodes. We cover all the way up through the beginning of uh well, it's really the end of season one of House of the Dragon. Um and we got some other shows as well. You can just go and search Is Survived by Productions on YouTube or Twitter uh, to follow along with us there. Make sure you guys, when we are on YouTube and Spotify and Apple Podcasts, that we are liking and subscribing and on the latter two, rating and reviewing. We would love to talk with you guys about some of your takes from these episodes. You don't just have to listen to us babble. You can chime in and tell us we're wrong or applaud us on our fantastic takes. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. It is Survived by Productions. Like I just said, that's where you can catch news and you can find out when we're posting our new videos there. Uh, we've got a couple other shows also. We've got the Red Right Hand podcast, which we cover all six seasons of the BBC hit show, The Peaky Blinders. Uh, soon to be a movie. It's coming. We're coming back. Come out of retirement. The Red Right Hand to cover the movie. Uh, we've also got the History of the Cores podcast and the History of the Cores After Hours podcast. That's Pop Pop and Junior. Uh, where we cover different bands from different core genres, just a little in-depth look there and some fun stories. Good times had by all. Is that it, Curtis? Did I miss anything? I think that's it. I think that was it, buddy. I don't use a script. Scripts are for the week. Asking if if I got it all is weak. Uh, but why Tell me i why don't know use, if i got why it use my script curtis when i can just ask you if i'm done ah uh, you're finished <laughs> you're fired if i show up next week and i'm skinless it was curtis who did it <laughs> uh, next week i'm coming okay. back with a bolton behind me <laughs> the bolton banner <laughs> Play yes. bands. Oh god, oh, man. that'll unnerve me for the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. And remember, if you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs>